recognize your speech and transfer to text and this even offline. We will create an example where you can recognize comments, for example, write email, and then he will open up the email program with the things which you have set. Another command is open and then he will open, for example, an app like YouTube on your phone. And lastly, we implement the go to command with which you can go to a specific website and he will open up the browser for you. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. This video is sponsored by Invoice Ninja. Invoice Ninja is one of the largest open source platforms for invoicing. If you search for something to manage your invoices with Flutter and handle also your online payments, this service might be something for you. And to get started with this Invoice Ninja plugin, you find the link in the description box of this video. Let's get started by implementing here this app and this floating action button. And if we tap on this one, then it is recording the voice. And therefore I create here a new class, Speech API. And here I create a new object, Speech to Text. And for this to work, you need to go to your PubSpec JAML file. And here inside, you need to set then the Speech to Text plugin under your dependencies inside. Now, every time if we click on this button, then we want to toggle between listening and not listening. And therefore we create here a new method, toggle recording, which will be later called by this floating action button. And here inside we call the speech, our speech to text, which comes from the plugin. And here we call initialize. We get then returned a Boolean flag is available. And if it is available, then we also can start to listen for the voice. And I want to emphasize here that this also works offline, so you don't need to have an internet connection. Within this listen method, you have a property called onResult, and here you basically get the result, the text back, which was recognized. And we want to put this value inside of a callback, therefore I create here this onResult callback where we want to put our text inside. And therefore I simply call here this callback onResult, and then I put here the value recognized words inside, which is basically the text which was recognized. And at the end, we also want to return here is available. So if the user has not granted permission, then this will return false. Before we can use this method and this plugin, we also need to set up this plugin for Android and iOS. Therefore, I start first of all with Android and I go here to Android folder app. And here we have a build Gradle file. And here you need to set the min SDK version to 21 or higher. Secondly, we go within our app folder to the source main and here we have an Android manifest file. And here you need to set these both permissions inside. We need the internet permission and also the record audio permission. Let's also set up this plugin for iOS. Therefore, I go to the iOS folder here inside of Runner. And here we have this info plist file. And here inside we need to set two key value pairs. So make sure that you put this here inside. Let's get started and also implement the UI right now. Therefore, I simply have here a home page, which is this page here on the right side. And I have already put here a text inside, which says press a button and start speaking. Secondly, we want to add here a floating action button. And here I give it some icon and I also implement the unpressed handler. This looks then like this. And we also want to make it centered. So I supply here this floating action button location and I set it to center float. And this looks then like this. Now, if we click on this button, then we want to start the recording and therefore I create here a new method toggle recording. Let's create this method right now toggle recording. And here we want to call the speech API toggle recording method, which we have implemented before. And we have also implemented here this callback on result where we actually get then the text, which was recognized back. And we want to put this text inside of a text field. So here at the top, I have another string. And here we start inside. Also make sure that you call here set state to update your UI. And now if you click here on this floating action button, you can then record your voice and it should appear immediately inside of your app. And this works for your smartphone. However, with the emulator, I cannot do this. Furthermore, we want to customize here the experience of our floating action button so that you see that it is currently recording. And we also want to integrate then these commands, write email, also, we want to integrate open an app and later we will also implement this go to a specific website. And by the way, if you want to get here this whole source code of this application, you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter course where I teach you how you can become a more efficient developer. To see if we are currently recording, we go again to our method 
And here we want to add another callback, which is called on listening. And this returns then a value of true or false. And true means that we are currently listening. Otherwise, it returns false. And then you go here to your initialize method and here you have this on status callback and this status is every time changing if we are listening or if we are not listening and there are also other statuses. And here we basically want to call then our on listen callback and here inside we put then from the speech the flag is listening inside. So here we basically get then if we are currently listening or not. And in case that some errors occur you can always implement here this on error callback. Now let's go again back to our homepage and here we want to create another field is listening our boolean flag which we set by default to false. And after this we go here down to our floating action button and we also want to have here another icon. So in case that we are currently recording then we want to show this recording icon otherwise we show here this icon. And the last thing is to put here inside of this is listening field a new value. And therefore we go to our method here and here we simply call this on listening and this is giving us then the value if it is currently listening or not. And this value we simply put inside of our field here at the top. And also make sure that you call here the set state to update your UI again. And now if you click here on this floating action button it should turn to this here. So we have this icon and now we also want to add here this effect around. To add this effect we wrap our floating action button inside of this avatar glow and here inside you set this animate to true and you also need to supply an end radius and a color and this is basically the color of this effect. And like you can see this looks then like this so we have here every time this animation and if you put here a higher end radius inside then this animation also will go further. And if you set this to animate true then it's always animating. And therefore we put here simply this is listening field inside and if it's listening it's animated otherwise it is not animated. And to use this avatar glow widget you need to go to your pubspec jumble file and here you need to add this avatar glow under your dependencies inside. And now as long as you are saying something then he will record and if you stop saying something then he will also automatically stop recording. And we also want to stop the recording manually by clicking here on this button. Therefore we go again to our method toggle recording and this method is every time called if we click here on our floating action button and therefore we simply implement here this condition if we are currently listening then we want to stop the recording and we also return here true. And this will make sure that every time if we are not listening then we start listening and if we are already listening then we stop the listening process. Within the home page you have this text widget and you also need to wrap it inside of this single child scroll view and with this one the content is scrollable and we also set here some padding and what we also want to do is we want to set here the flag reverse to true and this will then automatically scroll if we have here more text which is going until here and if you don't put this inside then he will go further and further and write here this text inside which the user doesn't see anymore. And this reverse flag will simply care that this is automatically scrolling and the text is always visible. And we also set here this bottom space to 150 so that we have here more space and then it will always go from this location until this location the text only. Otherwise if we don't put this inside it would go until here. And this doesn't look so great because here we have this button. Later you want to copy maybe here the text and therefore we also want to add here a copy button to our app bar. Therefore I go to the app bar and here inside we have this actions where I set then this icon button with this icon here. And if we click on this icon then we want to call here this flutter clipboard copy. And here we put then the text inside which is basically the text which was recognized. And therefore I simply put here the text inside and the statement will simply copy then this text inside of our clipboard. And to make this plugin work you need to go to your pubspec jumble file and here inside you need to set this clipboard under your dependencies inside. And to give the user also some visual feedback if we click here on this button we also implement here this snack bar. And therefore I simply say here copy to clipboard so that the user sees here at the bottom a snack bar. And to make this command here work you also need to wrap this here inside of a builder so that we get here the right context for our snack bar. Now everything should working fine so we can record some text and it is also showing you some feedback. We can copy the text and now we want to implement all these commands. 
To implement the commands, I create a new file and here I create a class command. And inside of it, I put here three fields inside, write email, open and go to, which are all of our commands. And later, we also want to highlight these commands in our app. Secondly, we create here a list of all of our commands and put all the commands here basically inside. And then we can later comfortably use here all the commands easily. To execute the commands which the user is saying, we wait until the user has finished with the speaking and after it, we want to call a new method which we want to create right now. And here basically we create a utils and here I create this scan text method and this basically gets us then here the text which the user has spoken and we want to make sure that this text is in lowercase so that we also can look up for these commands. And now we simply check here if our text contains a command. In this case, we check here if this text is contained within this text which the user said. And if that's the case, then we simply want to get the text after our command. So basically we look for the command and we want to get here the whole text after it. And therefore I create here a new method where I put then the text inside and also the command. Now let's create this method and here inside we basically look for the command in our text and then we get here the index of our command. And for example in this case here the index will be zero because our text, our command here is in the beginning. Then we also want to get the index after our command and therefore I simply calculate here the index command plus our command.length. So we simply take here the length of our command, which is here, for example, something around 10. And this will be then added to our index, which is right now zero. And this will make sure that we also get here the index after our command, because later we want to get here a substring of this whole text. And we want to start the substring after this command here. The next thing is to check if the command is inside. And if it is not inside, then we return here now. Otherwise, if the command is inside, then we take here the substring and here we put then the index after in so that we get the text after our command. And we also trim it so that we have no spaces to the left and to the right. And now this is everything what we need to recognize our commands. And then we simply get here the text, which is exactly this text after our command. And we want to open then an email, which opens then this text. And therefore I create now this open email method and I copy it simply inside because I already made another video about launching things in another app or whatever. And I will also link it up in the description of this video. And another thing to say here is that you also need to put then inside of your PubSpec Jamal file, this URL launcher inside with which we can basically open apps, the browser and also the email. And now the last thing to actually open here our email is to implement the scan text method. And therefore we simply go to our homepage and then we go here down to our toggle recording method. And within our on listen callback, we want to check if we are not listening anymore because after the user has said everything, then we want to execute our command. And therefore I simply put here then this util scan text method inside and here inside I put then the text, which is the whole text the user said. And we also wrap it here inside of a future delayed. So we want to start here this scanning of the command after one second, after one second, the user has not listened anymore because otherwise we have here some problems and don't get here the right text of our app. So we need to wait one second and then we get here the right text, what the user said. And with this implementation, everything should work fine. You can say write email and then he will simply take the text after it and simply put it inside of your email program. Now let's also look at how we can open YouTube, for example, an app on our phone. And secondly, we also want to go to the google.com website and therefore we open our browser. And to implement the other commands, browser one and browser two, which is open and go to, this is pretty easy. We simply go to our scan text method and here inside we basically check if the browser one, for example, this open comment was found in our text. And if that's the case, then we do the same thing as before. We call here this get text after command and also put here our command inside. And this will then get the text after our command. And we say this is then our URL and we simply call them a method open link and put here our URL inside. And I have already created this open link method, which I also implemented in this other video, which you find in the description box. 
And secondly, also this other command go to works exactly the same. We also call here and check if the command is within our text. And if that's the case, then we also put it here inside of this method and we also open the link. And with this implementation, you can say open and then you say, for example, youtube.com and then he will open the app on your smartphone. And what you also can do now is to say go to and then after it, you say the link where you want to go and then he will open up the browser and puts your google.com inside. And lastly, we also want to highlight here the command which we are currently saying within our app. And to accomplish this highlighting of our command, we simply exchange here the text widget by a substring highlight widget. And I also put here then this text property inside and I call it here text style. And secondly, we also put here this highlight text style inside. And this is basically then the text style of our command. And I have put it here to the color of red. And like you can see, all of our commands are displayed here in the red color. And after it, you also need to put here all the commands inside, which should be highlighted. And therefore you have this terms property. And here I set then the list of all the commands, which should be highlighted. For the substring highlight widget, you need to have here this code. And I don't want to go here into detail about this. However, you find this code with the first link in the description where you can basically download this whole project code. And all in all, everything should work now fine. So you can start your recording, you can say a text and you also can say some commands which will then do something. And like you can see, you can also implement pretty easily your own commands. And as a hint, Invoice Ninja has built an app with Flutter for managing invoices. And this Flutter app is open source and you can check it out, this app and also the source code on GitHub. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye.